Bucknutters, and welcome into the Morning 5 on Friday, May 23rd, 2014. I am Dave Biddle. I want to direct your attention to an excellent article written by our Alex Gleitman yesterday that is on the site called Ready for the Dream 14. Alex gives out superlatives such as most likely to start a game as a freshman, freshman with the highest ceiling, most likely to be a first-round NFL draft pick one day, and much more. You won't want to miss that. The Buckeyes 2014 recruiting class finished with the number three ranking in the country behind only Alabama and LSU, and seven of the 23 recruits enrolled early in January. The other 16 will enroll in two weeks. It's going to be fun and interesting to see how many of these guys play right away this fall. You know Raekwon McMillan will and a handful of others. Make sure you check out Alex's story because he does a great job of breaking down what can be expected from the 2014 class this fall and going forward. O-H-I-O. Now to talk about some of the players that will hopefully make up Ohio State's 2015 class, let's bring in the Dean of Ohio State Football Recruiting, Bill Curlick. What I want to talk about today is the Buckeye commitment situation, or more accurately, at this point at least, the Buckeyes' lack of commitments, and why I am not at all panicked about the Ohio State recruiting class situation right now. I did on Sunday my feature on the top targets for Ohio State right now, and I had 22 prospects on that top targets list. And when I look at that top 22 targets list, I see 11 prospects out of the 22 that I feel good or pretty good about the Buckeyes' chances of landing at this point. Those 11 are quarterback Torrance Gibson, running back Damian Harris, wide receiver Van Jefferson, tight end Hale Hentage, offensive lineman Drew Richmond, offensive lineman James Daniels, defensive end Draymond Jones, defensive tackle Elijah Taylor, linebacker Justin Hillier, linebacker Jerome Baker, linebacker Shavar Kilby Lane. Those 11 prospects, I think the Buckeyes have a very realistic shot at landing each one of them, and in some cases have a very good shot at landing the prospect. You go and look at some other prospects that the Buckeyes certainly could land off the list, including wide receiver Christian Kirk, defensive lineman Christian Wilkins, defensive back Jordan Whitehead, and offensive lineman Patrick Allen, as well as a few others. When you look at those prospects, certainly Ohio State could land as well. You have a very good group of at least 15 prospects off of my top 22 that the Buckeyes very well could land. Now, will the Buckeyes land all of those prospects? Certainly they won't, but if they can land somewhere around 10 of those 15, certainly those would be 10 great prospects, and I think the Buckeyes very realistically could land at least 10 of those prospects, which is why I am not at all panicked about the Buckeyes' situation right now. Certainly, the Buckeyes would love to have seven or eight solid, outstanding criminals at this point, but again, many of these prospects are simply not going to make decisions early, and in the long run, I feel good about the Buckeyes' chances with many of those prospects. So again, Bucknuts readers and subscribers, no time to panic. Urban Meyer and his staff are going to land an outstanding 2015 recruiting class when all is said and done. It's not what they have right now that is most important. It's what they are going to have on National Signing Day, and I remain confident that that is going to be a very good Ohio State recruiting class. Thank you, Bill, and I couldn't agree more. When the dust settles, Urban Meyer will land another top 10 class at the very least. I understand that fans are frustrated, but the Buckeyes will be fine in the end considering the fact that they are on the short list of so many top prospects. Bill will have much more on the recruiting front the rest of today and throughout the weekend, and you need to be a subscriber to read his content. If you're not a subscriber, give a free trial a test drive to make sure Bucknuts is providing everything you want in an Ohio State site. O-H-I-O. I wanted to give a quick injury update on Ohio State's players that missed all or parts of spring ball. I talked briefly with an Ohio State spokesman this week and received good news on several players. Vaughn Bell, Chase Ferris, Jeff Hireman, Jalen Marshall... Braxton Miller and Evan Spencer are all expected to be fully medically cleared when the Buckeyes begin their summer conditioning program at the start of June. The only player that missed spring that we're still not sure about is rising junior Devin Bogard, who suffered his second torn ACL in his many seasons last year. There's a chance Bogard could redshirt this fall, which would give him two seasons of eligibility remaining beginning in 2015. We hope the best for Bogard, but it's good news that the other guys are all ready to go. We knew they'd be cleared for camp, but the fact that they'll be clear for summer conditioning is important due to all the hard work the players do under Mickey Marotti and his staff during that time. Thanks for joining us for the Morning 5. Take it away, best damn band in the land. <laughs> <laughs>